Okay, so for Victoria sponge cake, we've got 175 grams of butter, 175 grams of caster sugar, and 175 grams of self-raising flour. I'm also going to add a little bit of vanilla extract for some flavour, and we're going to use three eggs. Once the cakes are baked and cooled, we can stick them together with a little bit of strawberry jam. Okay, so. We're going to use the creaming method, so we're going to get our butter in our bowl along with our caster sugar. If the butter's in a big lump like this one, just break it up with a spoon. And then you use the creaming method, where you hold the spoon like that and you're going to press down like that, and you're combining the fat and the sugar together. This will take a few minutes. Just do a little bit of the butter at a time, don't try and do it all in one go. So this is it come together. What we're looking for is pale and fluffy, no sugar crystals uh, and no big lumps of butter that haven't been combined. Just finish that off. Okay, so to that we're going to add our eggs. So break your eggs in a jug. Get a fork, beat them together, only takes about five seconds. going to add the eggs a little bit at a time. Just pour a little bit of egg in, get your spoon, beat it together. If you add the egg too quickly, or too much, what will happen is it will start to separate. So make sure it's well combined before you add the next bit of egg.
and there's an egg and our butter and our sugar combined together. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. Just mix that in. Now, I'm switching to a spatula because I'm going to fold the flouring. You've added a lot of air to the mixture and we don't want to knock that out. So sieve your self-raising flour in. Make sure we haven't got any lumps, any foreign objects in our mix. And then we're going to fold our flour in. This is quite a gentle motion, making sure we don't knock the air out of our cake mix. So it's all combined together. Got no loose flour. All the way to the bottom. And what we're going to do, we're going to place it in two sandwich tins. Now I've lined these sandwich tins, a little bit of butter, a little bit of greaseproof paper. It just makes it a bit easier to take out of our tins. So we're going to split the mix half and half. spread it out when it goes in the hot oven the butter and sugar are going to melt and it's going to spread out and find its own level right. so it doesn't have to be 100 percent it fairly even. And then we're going to bake that in a hot oven about 180 degrees, 15 20 minutes maybe, until it's golden brown. And then once it comes out of the oven, we'll let it cool and put our jam 